we're standing on one of these waste oil ponds out in American Cyanamid, I think. You know, it's out in the middle of the wetlands. There's no signs anywhere. But you can see this is a big giant oil pond that has been left here. And we just saw quarters coming through here. Obviously, they're in here. Kids are being exposed. And it's hard to believe at this day and age that we can't get these kind of sites cleaned up in the state of New Jersey. This site drains right into the Raritan River. And if you want to know why the river is polluted and why you can't eat the fish, well, take a look around me and look at the different colors that we have around us. Look at the yellows and the black. And it's just amazing to see that, you know, there's these oil ponds that are just sitting here unremediated and uh, that everybody knows about them and nobody seems to really want to get them cleaned up. What is that black stuff? Oh, mercury, oil, what, what all that shit you got on you for for the kids, man. I really wouldn't be riding on it, man. I know it's fun to get mud on you. Get nice and slow until you get to the trail because I don't even know what you got on you right now, man. We're standing just off where the, the railroad tracks go and there's a big quad trail. And as you can see, the quadders are coming down here and quadding all over this old chemical lagoon that's right here. And uh, it stinks to high heaven. We're gonna get the hell off of this thing. We're standing now with one of the other wastewater, waste ponds behind us. The area stinks. What a smell. We're just across the street from that black tar area. And uh, we, we can't stay here. The, the smell is just overpowering from this area. You know, um, unfortunately you can't catch it on video, but wow what a smell 287 is right over there behind me and uh we are right next to the railroad tracks and this whole area drains into the raritan river and pollutes the raritan river it may look like water but they don't put barbed wire around water and they don't put keep out signs around water this is a toxic waste site it's extremely toxic and it's harmful to both mammals and marine life and of course yours truly we're going to get to the bottom of this and find out what the heck is going on with this cleanup that's supposed to be taking place. This is what Edison Wetlands does.